Good evening and welcome back to our children's virtual program, Book Tasting, where I read the first few pages of books in the children's collection. So if you've been following us for the past few weeks, we have been following the Dork Diary series. So last week we read the first few pages of book four. Our main character, Nikki, was going through a skate -a And if you remember in the first few pages what we read, her little sister was banging on the door, the bathroom door, to get her out of the bathroom and there was actually someone special on the phone for our main character, Nikki. So we are back with book five. Dear Miss Know-It-All, I think my arch nemesis is spreading rumors about me. OMG, does your arch nemesis have a name that starts with a Mac and ends with a Kenzie? Maybe you can give me advice. Your friend, Miss Know-It-All. Hmm. Alrighty, as always, I'll be reading the first few pages. OMG, I cannot believe I'm actually going through with this. It was supposed to be just a little prank, but I have to admit, I'm a little worried. I really need to think about the consequences of my actions. Because if something goes wrong, there's a chance someone could actually end up in trouble. Yes, that's correct. Namely me, because if my parents find out about the stupid stunt I'm planning to pull, they're going to kill me. It all started when Chloe, Zoe, and I decided to have a sleepover during winter break from school. We excitedly counted down the seconds to midnight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Happy New Year. I was really looking forward to a brand new year, mainly because last year was filled with so much drama. What better way to start things off than with me, than with me and my two BFFs a wild, crazy New Year's Eve pajama party at Zoe's house. We picked out on pizza, double chocolate cupcakes, M&Ms, and ice cream sundaes, and then washed it down with soda. Soon, we were giggling hysterically and bouncing off the walls from a major sugar buzz. We were having way too much fun painting our nails, funky colors, and playing truth or dare to watch some lame disco ball thingy drop in Times Square on TV. Zoe, truth or dare? Chloe asked, locking her eyes on Zoe with an eager grin. Truth, she answered. I have a really good one, Chloe squealed. It's so romantic and from my fave book. Okay, would you rather kiss Deadly Doodle Dude or Hunk Finn? Oh, that's easy, Zoe giggled. I'd pick Hunk Finn. He's sensitive. He's a sensitive artist type and super cute. Yeah, but Deadly Doodle is so morbidly beautiful and intensely doodly, Chloe gushed. That's when I almost choked on my pizza. I know my BFF is a hopeless romantic, and I love her, but sometimes I worry that her teeth might be brighter than she is. Crushing on doodly guy is just so wrong. I mean, is that even a real word? If I was going to create a perfect guy who would be kind, have a good sense of humor, and be absolutely cute. Your turn, Nikki, Zoe said and turned to me, truth or dare. Ooh, I have a really good one, Chloe exclaimed. Uh, a wicked grin spread across her face as she whispered to Zoe. Zoe's eyes got big as saucers. Oh, gee, Chloe, Nikki's going to die if we ask her that. Alrighty, so I am ending it there. If you are interested in Dork Diaries, book five is available in the children's collection. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next week for a new book.